let's say, for example, I'm, I park my car to run into the grocery store. Uh, I'm gone not even five minutes and I come outside and somebody has uh, backed into my car uh, in that amount of time and they're still there, right? It's not my fault that they backed into my car. However, it's now my responsibility to do something with this accident that has happened to my car. I can choose, I have many, many options available to me. One option is I get it fixed immediately. One option is that I file an insurance claim. One option is that I don't do anything with it, right? I just drive around with it smashed. Um, Another option is that I try to sue the person in civil court because, you know, if it's in a parking lot, it's nobody's fault technically under the law. Um, I have many options that I can explore. I can call my insurance people and see what they recommend. I can call my personal attorney and see what he recommends. I can ask around to various people about what they recommend. But at the end of the day, the decision on what to do with the car and when to do that decision, when to implement that choice comes down to me. This is ultimately going to be my decision. Why? Because I'm responsible for the car. So it's not necessarily my fault. And in in this scenario, it isn't my fault that my car got hit while I went inside the grocery store, right? Now I want to add another layer to this scenario. Let's say I park my car. I just run in. I just need one thing real quick, real fast, five minutes, right? I'm in a rush because I need to make something for a dinner party that I had that I have tonight. And I didn't plan ahead. I didn't order this ingredient. I didn't. I thought I had it. Maybe I overlooked it. You know, I didn't, I did. So, so the rest of my groceries got delivered or maybe I went grocery shopping the day before or two days before, but I, it somehow I overlooked this one ingredient. So now I'm in a rush trying to find this ingredient. Can't find it. Have to go to the store, have to get the ingredient so I can make this thing. Now knowing all of that, which has led me to be at the store at this time, you know, at this store specifically, it has led me to be in a hurry. Maybe I didn't pay as close of attention to my surroundings as I could have. Maybe I didn't want to park like I normally do, you know, all the way down on the other end of the parking lot to get away from people as I normally do because I am in a rush and I just want to hurry up and get in, get out, that type of thing. So I'm not behaving like I normally do. My this this ultimately leaves me with the same scenario, which is that it might not be my fault, but now it's my responsibility. However, when it comes to a learning opportunity, if I ignore all of the other factors that go into why I made this decision. So if I ignore the fact that, hey, I was rushed, I was feeling pressed for time. I had actually ordered all my groceries a day before or two days before but I forgot this ingredient or maybe the grocery people forgot to bring it to me. I've had that happen where, where the um, Instacart people forget to, to put it in, in the bag. It's not, not, they didn't do it on purpose. Right. But nonetheless, still my responsibility to go through, Hey, did I get everything on this list? And if I didn't do that now, last minute, I'm looking for this ingredient. It doesn't hurt the Instacart delivery person. It hurts me right? I'm the one who ultimately has to make up for this shortcoming. I'm the one who ultimately has to find time to uh, go get this ingredient so that I can make this specific dish for this specific dinner party. So when I, when I don't take into consideration all the other factors, I miss out on an opportunity to do it better the next time. And I'll usually find myself repeating the same patterns of behavior for that specific reason, because I think, oh, bad luck. Take a look at what is going on beforehand that led me to make the decision to go to the store at that specific time, park in that specific place. When I want to make sure that this does not happen again, I take responsibility for it. And I start looking at why was I in a rush? Why did this happen? Why didn't I go over my Instacart order and make sure I had all of the ingredients in there. 
you know, what would have taken me 30 seconds, maybe a minute to go through the list and see if I had gotten all the ingredients from that order is now costing me a ton of time talking to people, figuring out what to do next, calling the insurance people, filling out the police report, right? 